Hi! Welcome to my personal home art studio. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I am missing our ARPS art studio more and more each day. But I kind of wanted to bring you guys down here. Yes, my art studio is in our basement. Um, and show you where I have been creating art lately. Um, normally, I do a lot of my art at the kitchen table and I get in trouble a lot for that because, you know, kitchen tables are really for having dinner and things. Um, <laughs> so my husband and kiddos and everyone came down here one day and we worked really hard and moved my art studio, gave it more open space. Um, so now I kind of have my space set up a little bit better for um, creating art without bothering the rest of the household, which is always good because we should always respect the people around us, whether that's the other artist in our studio at school or that's the other family members in our house, right? So um, the more likely we are to respect or the, the better we respect them, the more likely they are to let us continue our art, right? Which is very important, um, I know for me. So today, um, welcome back from spring break. I don't know. Um, I know my plans got kind of squished. We were supposed to go out to Mesa Verde, um, but we made the most of it and we had so much fun at the house. Moved my art studio. Um, we got out for lots of walks with the dogs. I even saw some of you out there. That was kind of fun. We kept our six feet distance. Um, but today I wanted to read you a new book that I just heard about and ordered from Amazon and I thought it was perfect for our current situation. It's called Anywhere Artist. So that first week um, where we were doing distant learning, I tried to do um, some projects for you guys, knowing that you may not have a lot of art supplies at home. So things like crayons and markers that I hoped most of you had um, and painting with tea. How cool is that? If you didn't try it, you need to go try it. Um, but this book, what I like about it is it, it talks about how we can look all around us and find cool things to create art. So I want to read this book to you and then tomorrow I thought we could all do a project together with it. So um, let this be kind of your setup to start thinking about what you see around you um, that can make really cool things to make art with. Anywhere Artist. She creates art from anything Anytime by Nikki Slade Robinson. I am an anywhere artist. I don't need paint or paper. I can make art anywhere. My imagination is all I need. Kind of like our imagination station at school, right? I am a forest artist. I find fluffy lichen, twisted sticks, and smooth stones. I pick up lacy leaf skeletons. Got all these cool, interesting shapes and lines and colors. I can make anything I want. <laughs> I am a beach artist. I collect salty shells. I shape sand. I spread curly seaweed out. How pretty is that? This is my favorite. I like the curly cues. Although I don't know that we're going to find a lot of seashells around here, but you know, you never know. I use driftwood, making it stand tall to cast long fingered shadows over my art. That's cool, huh? Can't do that in a painting. Well, I guess you can. I'm a rain artist. My feet dance ringlet patterns in the puddles. I squish oozy mud into silly shapes. Not making too much of a mess though. I am a sky artist. I lie on the grass and make art inside my head. The clouds are my paints. My imagination is my brush. 
sometimes my art fills the whole sky. Cool. She's got fish. He's smiling. That fish is looking up at the sky. But it's in the sky. So. I can make art anywhere. I can make art with anything. I bet you can too. So what will you make today? So if this book inspires you as much as it inspired me and my kiddos, you can take a walk or even just look around your house or in your front yard or your backyard and find things that have interesting shapes, lines, textures, colors. Are these words sounding familiar to you? These are those elements of art that Mrs. Wave always talks to you about. Line, shape, form, space, texture, color, and value. If you're considering all of those things, you're going to find the best objects that you can use to create your own art. We're going to call this a nature collage. How about that? Um, my kiddos and I went on a couple walks this weekend and gathered some supplies. And tomorrow's video, I'm going to show you some of the collages that we came up with. In the meantime, if you have time today, why don't you go on a walk around your house, around your neighborhood, and see what you can find. Remember that we have to be respectful of other people's property though. So my kiddos and I, we went to the open space behind our house, um, places like that, and picked up things that weren't bothering nature and they weren't part of somebody's landscaping, meaning part of their yard or the town's yard <laughs> or any of those things. Um, so take an adult with you. Make sure that you're being respectful of the people around you and not taking things that you shouldn't. But um, be aware of all those lines, shapes, forms, space, color, texture, value. Did I get them all? Um, and start collecting. And then we'll see what we can do with that tomorrow. It was great having you guys here in my art studio. Um, watch for lots more videos to come. And if you missed any of those at home art challenges, um, be sure to check out my website. Just go to the school website, um, go to the staff page and you'll see my website has all um, five, I believe, art challenges that I have set up. I would love to see your art coming into Art Sound here. Um, see you guys soon.